I'm actually, uh, my name's Sam Ware. I'm with Westchester County, New York, and I'm actually, the uh, uh, last couple of years I've been on a detail with the USGS uh, uh, headquarters in Reston. So that's kind of where I'm, I'm coming at, but I've been detailed to build, help build local government capacity in some of the USGS mapping programs. What I want to do today is talk about a new GOS, new GOS search wed widget. Um, uh, quickly, we've got five minutes here to talk about the, the functionality of the GOS widget, how to implement it, um, give you some examples about the GOS search widget, some contact information if you're interested in kind of pursuing this over the next couple of days while we're all here at the UC, UC and give you a live demo. Uh, how does it work? Essentially, the GOS search widget really leverages the existing search functionality that's at the GOS homepage right now, if you're familiar with GOS. Uh, let's users view, explore uh, geospatial data as it's found and presented in, in, in the, the GOS catalog. Uh, viewers can, res the results can be viewed as a RSS feed, KML file, and also just you can, the basic GOS functionality of viewing uh, the metadata, download the data, you can view online applications, live map services, which is really increasing in, um, in popularity and some other things. Uh, again here, the, on your left um, is just the basic out of the box search result from uh, the, the, the GOS the, the widget on the right, obviously the RSS feed, and you can see in some of the lines there that you can you can search once you have the results in the candidate list that met your search criteria. You can view the ma the, the metadata. Oops. And then also uh, increasingly popular, seeing your search results in uh, KML and, and Google Earth, and you can see the uh, the geographic footprint there of uh, as defined that's the bounding box in the met in the metadata record. Um, the magic really is just two, two lines of code, and that's all there is to this thing. Um, and really the take home is just those two yellow lines there, but the first line is generic to all the deployments. The second line is really uh, of code references the GOS catalog and the search, the search parameters that you establish. So it's really only two lines of code. The most difficult thing is really identifying where to insert those lines of code in your HTML page that, that, that you've built uh, on your, on your web page. Um, you can search, and these are parameters that you can define, that need to be defined in that second line of code. You can search the metadata on the type, uh, whether it be uh, actual data, map services, online applications, uh, bounding box, the spatial relationship, and I'll show you an example of that, uh, whether it be wholly within or an inter intersect, the publisher, the date of publication, and other. Uh, the default maximum return records is 30, though you can redefine that. We've done that in Westchester County, so you don't have as, such an ominous uh, list of uh, records to look at. Um, uh, kind of an easy way to define your search criteria is using the existing GOS advanced search uh, dialog. And this is an example here. And if you're familiar with GOS, uh, what I've done here is I'm looking for records in Westchester County. Um, and holy, it's actually wholly within. I'm looking for some live, live data. Um, I might add here, too, what we've done in Westchester County is we've configured this so not to return Westchester County metadata. Our thinking there is that, you know, people come to our website, which is pretty, there's a lot of content there. They want to search and just get passed back or have records that data is already available on that site. So we've configured so they're only going to find non-Westchester County metadata records. Um, I, I then I can present, and those results are presented as an RSS feed, and that look at the red arrow there. And the magic there is that define, that's really where you copy and paste that URL string into the second line of code, and that really defines your search, search parameter. And again, I, I created that URL by using the search, uh, the search parameters that are available at the existing GOSS website, and that UI there. Uh, real quickly, this is the, um, uh, the lines of code. Not, it's not a big deal. Uh, this is from our HTML site from Westchester County, just to go to show you it's not a lot of work there. Um, this is how we've deployed it at Westchester County. State of Delaware, I'm going to go live with this in a second, but again, this is what they've done. It doesn't take up a lot of real estate. A couple contact, um, and this, we're going to be showing this at the applications fair uh, the next couple days here. What I'm going to do is I'm going yellow, and I'm going to, I think I may give Victoria a chance to <laughs> blow, or I may get gonged. 
here, but at the Delaware. And again, I'm going to assert this is at the state of Delaware GIS site. I'm going to type in land use and go. Start dancing here. I don't know if I hit it or not. <laughs> the first, the very first. Oh, well, I tried. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, you did that on purpose. Yeah, right. It's all part of the car. Yeah, car. Okay, go. Sorry, sorry. Geospatial one stop. Yeah. It's 